I'm Professor Jonathan Weber. I'm Vice Dean for Research in the Faculty of Medicine. And I'm standing here in the Fleming Museum at St Mary's campus of Imperial College. This is the lab where Fleming first isolated penicillin. And it's probably the most dramatic example we have from Imperial of how a fundamental discovery in science has been applied for the benefit of patients here and indeed worldwide. So the Faculty of Medicine at Imperial College is very good at what it does, making discoveries and translating them into the clinic. Altogether, our research income is between 160 and 170 million pounds a year. And in fact, our Academic Health Science Centre, our faculty together with our hospitals, earns uh, 250 million pounds a year in research income. We work extremely closely with the MRC Clinical Science Centre, the Hammersmith campus, which is the embodiment of discovery biology. And we use our interactions to place our clinical trainees into discovery biology laboratories in the Clinical Science Centre, the Chain Flory Scheme. Our Faculty of Medicine at Imperial College is a very large one. We've got just under 500 academic staff but altogether we employ about 6,000 staff in medicine, including academics, researchers, postgraduates and graduate students. We also work across a wide space. Our fundamental biological discovery work is done at South Kensington, where we work closely alongside the other faculties and departments of Imperial. But we work broadly across all our hospital campuses in West London, interfacing with our clinical colleagues and, of course, with our patients. We group all our research activity into 11 distinct themes spanning pretty much all of biomedical research. To give an example of the breadth of what we do, our fundamental bacteriology group are uncovering the structures of bacterial enzymes responsible for replication allowing us to find entirely new types of antibiotics, something we desperately need in the face of antibiotic resistance. And our research spans all the way from that very basic research to very large multi-center international clinical trials, like HIVET, a study looking at the treatment of hypertension in the very elderly, which we did over 17 countries worldwide, including Russia. I'm standing in the laboratory in the building we call the SAF building after Sir Alexander Fleming. And it's in this laboratory and others in this building that the advances of the 21st century are going to be made. One of the most important aspects of the research we do at Imperial College is working across medicine and the other faculties, engineering, natural sciences and the business school. For example, we work closely with colleagues in bioengineering who are developing novel nanotubules which can operate in patches across the skin. And working in patients with diabetes, we can create closed loops whereby blood sugar can be monitored and insulin delivered without the need for insulin injections or blood tests. We work closely with our colleagues in physics who are developing new ways of Radio, making radio ligands. These are molecules which we can use in PET imaging, type of imaging which allows us to make visualizations of cancer, for example. And now with even more modern radio ligands to start to look at inflammatory diseases, even infections, in completely new ways. Uh, perhaps most importantly of all, all of the research we're undertaking now involves enormous quantities of data being developed from genomics, from phenotyping, from imaging. And putting those different data sets together now requires entirely new mathematical algorithms being developed with our colleagues in the Department of Mathematics. And the data themselves analyzed require to be uh, imaged and visualized. And that visualization is being done closely with the Department of Computing here allowing completely new ways of looking and representing these very large data sets. Finally, all of the work we do requires to be placed in the global world of economic analysis, 
And those sorts of studies are being undertaken very widely now with the business school here at Imperial. It's putting these multidisciplinary teams together that will really help us address the big medical issues of the 21st century and solve them.